Derek Tipshot, maker of historic and epic, yet gritty and not necessarily popular videos. We're here today to take a look at his new video, Streets of Delta BC, and the overwhelming controversy it's caused as its view count reaches abnormal proportions. We went to his house. All right, what do you have to say about this <clears throat> depressing video, Streets of Delta BC? It's actually Streets of Mission, Michael. Oh, terribly sorry. No problem. You've been a good friend of mine for many years. Would you like some Ritz crackers, Michael? No, I'm trying to cut down. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now that your video has been brought up onto the global scale, and even been criticized by people in Mission for the gloomy appearance of their town in your video, well, what Michael, do you have to say? Let's just start with the original version of this. The Streets of Philadelphia from Bruce Springsteen. Academy Award winning song. Marvelous, truly epic, and masterful craftsmanship by the boss. Yes, and the video I have parodied somewhat with the scenery, the attire, even right down to the facial hair. Yes. Now, what of the music you used? Did you sort out the copyright info with him? Well, Michael, actually, this was handled by world renowned artist Gustavo Vieira. <laughs> I am quite frightened from what I just witnessed. Could you please not do that anymore? What if I do? All right, very well then. So, what will you do in response to the comments and the naysayers of this video, which I think is honestly worthy of an Academy Award? Thanks! Well, it's a tough life, but if you take a look at the comments, despite those who are unfamiliar with the work of Bruce Springsteen, we can still see many bright spots. And some happy people waving in the community. Even when the mayor of Toronto went missing, we stuck our neck out for him and put posters of him all around. And I showcased that in my video. So heartfelt of the people of Mission to do this. And very honorable for you to make note of it. And I do notice that some people did notice the reality I applied to this video and they appreciated that. Although I think the setting became too much the forefront of it. I apply my story and experience here. And perhaps I appear to be placing too much of the blame on the town there, and there may be a bit of a misunderstanding. Well, you're clearly not blaming Philadelphia, so what is it then? Do you want a martini, Michael? I can get you a lime, too. Are you sure? I can always you're get you You're clearly being limes. a face Now sit down and answer the bloody question. I don't know. It's, it's depressing. I just... I, I, meant my, I meant to do my best. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. All right. When and how did the idea to do this come up? South Park episode, actually, when Jared was featured in about 2002. And after he's fired by the subway people for his strange ideas on health, he walks depressingly through what appears to be the streets of Philadelphia. And I was always influenced by that. You can see on my subway scene that I actually put that picture in to associate the South Park parody. But uh, what really kicked it off was a guy that I met named Adam Groenberg. Interestingly enough, or ironically if you will, I met him during a backgammon competition in a back alley in the streets of Philadelphia. I know, what are the odds of that? Basically, he owes me a case of old Milwaukee beer for the game. I mean, I mean, he, he says he won, but all the witnesses know there was a flaw, so we eventually agreed. And there was, of course, signed and witness documents by all our lawyers at the time, uh, stating that in uh, over time, with interest, he'll have to upgrade to a case of Sleeman's. Yeah. <laughs> Who came out of that one on top, Groiny? That's right, Adam. Ah, a decent upgrade. Yeah, but now because he doesn't like the video, he won't pay. That's a problem. I don't like that. Will you continue to make YouTube videos? Well, we'll have to wait and see, Mikey. We'll have to wait and see. You want some gin now? I'd love to get drunk right about now. There you have it. My exclusive interview with Derek Tushok about his song, Streets of Delta BC. And we hope you enjoyed it. And if you had a tough time digesting the music video, try walking around on the streets after the storm. Or try a bit of Ritalin. Until next time, I might be Michael Caine.